Hello, welcome back to Dining with Desica. Today I will be preparing my delicious, buttery, baked Cornish hen. It is to die for, you have to try my recipe. I will be submitting more recipes more often just because the holidays are just around the corner. So bear with me, so let's do this and let's get started. On today's menu, we have my delicious smothered Cornish hens with bell pepper and mushrooms and onions. And being excited for the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, sometimes you want to prepare a dish that is very easy, like this baked Cornish hen. Now, it holds, it's moist, it's delicious, and it's just quick and easy for a family to prepare. Now you want to preheat your oven to 375, okay? You want to place your pre-clean Cornish hen on top of a cutting board. You want to use one teaspoon of Cajun seasoning and you want to sprinkle it and rub it in. And you want to repeat this formation on the back side as well and rub your season all over your hen. Next, I'm going to add some chicken seasoning. Now, this is a good spice that you can also use, you know, on your hen. So, I am going to add my one teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm going to sprinkle that on both sides of my hen also and massage my seasons into my hen very well and sometimes I like to also pull back the skin on my hen and to make sure I get some of the seasonings up under the skin of the hen so I pull back okay and next, I'm going to add my teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle that on both sides and continue to work my hen. Okay? And you just want to make sure that the hen is well seasoned. And I also believe in adding butter underneath the skin. So I'll take about, you know, and I'll slice the back of the hen and I'll stuff the butter underneath the skin. Now this adds extra juices and flavor. So whether you're doing this with a turkey or if you buy a butterball turkey and it already has butter in it, that's fine. No hen comes pre-buttered. So I feel this would be an awesome idea to stuff underneath the skin butter to your hen. Next, we are going to add a handful of chopped sweet yellow onions inside of our hen. This adds a delicious, delicious flavor to your hen also. So next, we got it all stuffed. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. So next we are going to place inside of our dish, which I choose a ceramic dish. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Next, I'm going to chop my one half of bell peppers. I have yellow, orange, green, and red. So, this also adds a delicious flavor to your Cornish hen. Okay, now that I have completed slicing my bell peppers in my measuring cup, I will add one cup of water. Next, I will add one tablespoon of chicken broth to my one cup of water. Okay. I will stir and mix and set aside for later. 
Next, I will sprinkle about a tablespoon of olive oil on my hand before I place into my preheated 375 oven. Look at that. Let brown for 20 minutes, pull out, and take a look and see how light, crispy brown the skin is on your hand. Okay, look at that. See that? Look at the juices flowing from it. Now I'm going to add my chicken broth. Okay, and next I'm going to add my chopped bella mushrooms and I'm going to spread them all over my hand. Okay, and next I am going to add my yellow sliced onions, which will also bring flavor to my broth. It's so delicious, you gotta try it. But you also want to add your bell peppers, your green, yellow, and red bell peppers to your broth to add more delicious flavor to your Cornish hen. Okay. This is such a delightful, delightful, beautiful, colorful hen that we are preparing for Thanksgiving. Okay, so like I said, you don't have to do the turkey, you can do the Cornish hen. So I'm going to slide this back in and I'm going to let this bake for another 30 to 35 minutes. Voila, look at this Cornish hen. This is well done, lightly browned, and you want to take some of your juices from your broth and you want to bathe your hen as you go. Now remember, you got butter mixed in here, you got mushrooms mixed in here, you have onions. I mean, you have all the flavor that you need for this hen. And the next thing I will tell you to do is pull it out of the oven, set it aside like I'm going to do. And I want to see how tender my Cornish hen is. So I am going to see if I can remove one of the legs of the Cornish hens. Look how that is. Look how easy that came off. See that? Look at that. Look how delicious that looks. Okay. I am going to prepare a plate, but I got to taste it first. You know, I always got to taste it. And, mm, 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 mm. Look at this. This. Mm, mm. Look, you guys. Oh, my God. This smells and tastes so delicious. There's nothing left to do but to prepare a plate. I am going to taste my southern hey, potato salad. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I am going to, I'm telling you guys, you gotta try. Mm. Look at this corners here. These mushrooms are good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut inside of this next and I'm going to taste my hen one more time. You are dining with Desica. Don't forget to subscribe. Please like, comment, and share to Dining with Desica. Love is love. Food is love. The holidays are right around the corner. Mm, some more gravy on top of here. And we are going to be just fine this holiday. So if you didn't have a clue on how to prepare a Cornish hen and keeping it from being dried out, now you know how to prepare a delicious buttery Cornish hen with a serving of, hey, southern potato salad on the side. So once again, please subscribe, like, share, and comment to Dining with Desica. Love is love. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.